Hello, Hateless Gaming here, bringing you another burner guide. Today we have the Angel Base, a short, intense fight. We will be using the Vigilant because of its massive web bonus and its high DPS allows us to deal with these frigates quite easily because there's four frigates in there that we have to fight. For the fitting, we have in our highs, we have four heavy neutron blasters, an electrochem cap booster, three webifiers. These webifiers are extremely important. And we have an explosive hardener. And another explosive hardener, an energized adaptive nanomembrane, two magnetic field stabilizers, and a single rep. For rigs, we have a medium nanobot accelerator, we have a medium auxiliary nanopump, and we have a medium anti-EM pump. For skills, or actually, I forgot to mention, in our cargo, we have a micro warp drive, a mobile depot, some ammo, and 800 cap boosters for our electrochem cap booster. And a mobile tractor unit because we always want to check rats or uh, check wrecks. And then in our drone bays, we have a bunch of hornets because they are meat shields. That's quite helpful. For skills to fly the vigilant, you're going to lead Glente and Minimitar um, cruiser two three. I would recommend four though, and five is again recommended like always. In navigation, we're going to need high speed maneuvering to be able to use the the micro warp drive in engineering uh, luckily this fitting isn't super tight but we do use overheating so we're going to recommend thermodynamics four but you can get away with three or so and and then for the fitting you're going to need the the g generic fitting skills two four or five in armor because this is an armor tank we're going to want a whole upgrades to four or five a 5 will allow you to use T2 hardeners. And then you're going to want repair systems 5. This is almost a must because you take in a lot of damage at the beginning of the room and you have to survive. And the, the first bit of the fight is the hardest part to survive. Once you get through the first bit, you'll be fine. In gunnery, we're using T2 guns. So you're going to want medium hybrid turret to 5 with the, the medium... Medium... Uh, I forget, medium blaster spec to three or four. And then for drones, it doesn't matter about the drones you use, they're just meat shields. Uh, drone durability helps. I only have it to four. Five is would be helpful. In rigging, we're using armor rigging, so you're going to want that to four. And that's about it for skills. I covered the ship fitting. So for the fight, I have my modules organized in this particular way. I've got my my four webifiers up top, and my two hardeners on the bottom, and then these two in the middle. The idea is that we're going to preheat our two explosive hardeners because that's what these 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 frigates do mostly is EM or explosive damage. So we're going to want to over, pre overheat these, and then we're going to overheat our gun to start. And then right when we land, well, you'll see what will happen. It's kind of warp drive active, not immediate as to what happens you'll still see so when we land on grid there's going to be four frigates pointing in four directions away so there's one two three four each of these frigates is worth five million isk and bounty which is awesome we're gonna lock them up control and click and from our cargo we're gonna drag the mobile depot mobile tractor into space that'll deploy them Oh, you're also going to need anchoring skills one, which is like a 15 minute skill. You guys can get that. And from here, we're just going to wait until they get closer. But as soon as we start taking damage, we're going to turn on our hardeners. And then we're going to wait for one to get within three kilometers. We're going to triple web him and we're going to begin firing. Once our, our armor begins to, once we start to take armor damage, we want to start the repper. We don't want to overheat the repper because it causes a lot of heat damage. It can ruin a lot of modules. So as you can see, when we track the one that we are not shooting, Oh, I also forgot, you gotta launch drones and have the drones help you. But if I track the one that I'm not shooting, and I web him, you'll see he almost comes to a complete stop. Uh, the drones have one job, and they don't really help much with DPS, but they do help a lot if they take aggro. And you'll see here in a second, my shields are bleeding. They'll, they'll bleed until you only have two of these frigates firing at you. Uh, you can do it without drones, but it is highly recommended that you bring drones to take some of the heat from you so that you can survive the mission 
and then we just keep on webbing each one down and working them down just like that as you can see the they don't really move once you web them down they move really fast and once we've killed two we can turn off the overheat on our hardeners otherwise we run risk burning our hardeners out and this guy's all flying off so we're not taking damage and then about now your cap is going to run out you're going to have to inject a cap booster so i'm going to fire a shot at him and he should come back towards us and then we can web him down uh, if he flies off you want to again fire that shot wait for him to get close and then web him you web him at like eight kilometers you're not going to be able to hit him very well and we can hit shift r and return our drones now at this point i can turn off my armor rubber i can turn off my hardeners and we're gonna hit alt c and alt f which will bring up our fitting and our cargo window. We're going to drag one of these stasis webifiers down into the cargo and put the micro warp drive up. That's why we deployed the mobile depot right in the beginning. So it'll be done when we were, we were done. And we want to scoop up the mobile depot to the cargo hold. And we're going to see if anything's in the mobile tractor unit. Open cargo. And it does not look like there's anything. So we're just going to scoop that to cargo hold. And then now that we're refit for micro warp drive, we got to go chase down the clone soldier transport. We're going to tell our ship to orbit because if we tell it to approach, it'll bump it off into space and you won't be able to do any damage. At this point, we can lock them up. We can throw drones at them, although it's not going to do much. Uh, the clone soldier transport is incapable of killing you. It, it can't It can't even break my passive shield tank. So you're once you've killed the frigates, you're pretty much in the clear. No problems to remain. We're going to kill the transport and that will mark the mission as complete. Once we get a little closer, we're going to turn off our micro warp drive. We can begin firing. As you can see, if you watch the velocities, the web of fire doesn't do anything. He, he's got inertial mass, so if you were to bump him on the approach, if you told your ship to approach, you bumped him at a thousand meters a second, he would continue flying a thousand meters a second in the direction that you bumped him. It's a little silly, but I don't know why it's bugged or whatever. He just holds mat he, he holds velocity he's slowing down a little bit because of the web but really not much and once he's dead we're gonna check the wreck i've had him drop a signable blueprint so it's very worth checking looks like we just got some faction ammo which isn't that great uh anyways that is all for the angel base if you would like to see more or like this video like and subscribe if you don't like this video dislike it and tell me why everybody fly safe and have a good time